All right, guys, new intro here for the Bear Pack. Let's take a look at our subscription goal. We are sitting at almost 9,300. We need 700 more subs to hit that 10K goal to give that $1,000 giveaway. And then we have 12K subs coming up to send a couple people to some games of their choice. Trey, let's take a look at that leaderboard. Dennis Burns is at the top. We have Kellen on this week. He's doing a great job so far, but that is the leaderboard right now. If you see if you see your guys' name, reach out to us. Bears Profit plays at gmail.com or on Twitter, Bears Profit at Bears Profit. And we need to get you guys set up. So we can give you guys your picks out for the next couple of weeks. If you see your name, make sure you reach out. Also, if you want to become a member on our YouTube channel, we're going to be giving away $50 weekly to our members on YouTube. We have 15 to 20 right now. So if you become a member for just $4.99 a month, you have a chance to win $50 weekly. We're going to be doing that on our live show. We're going to put everybody on the wheel. We're going to spin it and give away $50 a week. So make sure you guys come check that out. Only $4.99 a month. Very cheap over there. And our plays are actually better over there as well. So guys, is going to do it. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, let's get some NFL picks and props for Monday, December 11th, slate of games. Trey, did we sweep? Did we sweep? Did we sweep? Well, I'm waiting for mine to end. I gave out the oh. Buffalo Bills plus two and a half against the Kansas City Chiefs. I, I guess won. that game just I ended won. as we are recording. So we swept the board, baby, because the Bills, they came to play. They, they won this game straight up as a Raiders fan. It's always, always sweet victory whenever the Chiefs lose. Sometimes a Chief loss is a better than a Raiders win. Very, very, very well said, Trey. Uh, I did get a win. I've been fighting for wins like crazy. I had the Browns minus two and a half. This could have been an all-time bad beat for me. The Jags scored with like a minute left, and instead of kicking the extra point, they went for two. And if they would have got the two, I would have lost on the spread minus two and a half. Would have been a horrible beat, but the Cleveland D did stand up for that last play. So we did win by four, and we got the win. We swept the board. Let's do it again tomorrow, Trav. You start us off. Yeah, guys, I'm going to be attacking this Monday night football game. we got two games today, thankfully. And it's going to be the Tennessee Titans at the Miami Dolphins game. And this game should be a very fun one to watch. One team, they look like a shell of themselves. And the other team is looking to make a deep playoff run. I don't like this massive spread, though, with the Dolphins at minus 13 and a half. So I'm just going to cut that spread in half and take the Dolphins to win the first half minus seven and a half in this game versus the Titans. I feel like this is going to be an easy bet for us. because the Dolphins are going to jump out to a big lead before cruising to an easy victory. Because that's what the Dolphins have done to teams all season long. They jump out to early leads because they come this game averaging 18 points per game in the first half compared to the Titans who only average 10 points per game. And I don't think that the Titans are even going to reach double digits there in the first half in this game because their offense really struggles to travel on the road this season. Because on the road this season, this Titans team, they're only averaging a little under six points per game in the first half. Meanwhile, this Dolphins team in Miami is averaging over 19 points per game. So with that turn, the Dolphins are going to win the first half by a score of 19 to 6, and we will easily cash this bet. I'm going to stay away from the full game. I'm just going to stick with the first half here because I feel like the Dolphins will jump out to a big lead. So give me the Dolphins here, minus 7.5 in the first half spread versus the Titans. I love that play there for you, Trey. For my play today, I'm going to go to the other game, looking at the Green Bay Packers going up against the Giants. I'm going to take the Packers minus 6.5 because I don't see a reason why I should take the Giants with the points. I don't necessarily like either of these teams. But the Giants have wins over the Commanders and the Patriots over the last two games, and those are two teams that can be beat by anybody in the NFL. The Packers, on the other hand, have won four of the last five games, and they have wins against the Rams, who are a very good team right now, the Chargers, who are terrible, the Detroit Lions, who are right now the third seed in the NFC, and the Kansas City Chiefs. Three of the four wins that they've had have been against great teams, and those are great wins for the Packers. I think they're playing great football at the moment, so I'm going to take them against the Giants. I know a lot of people are buying into the Tommy and that juice that they have over there with the Giants. But this is going to be the toughest test they've had in nearly three weeks. I think the Packers are hungry for a playoff spot. I think if they win this game, they might even get one. So give me the Packers to dominate the Giants in this game, minus six and a half as the play. Trey, let's go over to the player props. Have you start us off? Yeah, this is where I put a loser on the board. That's because I gave out Justin Fields over 62 and a half rush yards versus the Lions. And this one hurt because it was so close. Fields, he finished with 12 carries, but only turned that into 58 rush yards. So he missed out on five yards there for the over. It was just painful to watch. He was trying his hardest, but... He just barely fell short. Yeah, and he lost three or four yards on three meals at the end of the game also, which really sucks. So, yeah, that was a tough one. Um, I did have Cortland Sutton over 12 fantasy score. I said we just needed one bomb, and he got it. He got a 50-yard touchdown in the third quarter. So we did catch the one another there. We're going to move on to the Monday Night Plays. Trey, I'll have you start us off. Yeah, guys, I'm going to go back to a uh, rushing prop here, but I'm going to combine it with, with the receiving yards. And give me Saquon Barkley to go over 93.5 rush plus receiving yards in this game. I have a lot of confidence in this over because he's going to get a ton of touches in this game, and that should continue because it's going to be a primetime game. And the Giants, they have struggled in primetime games, haven't won since 2018 at home. But I think it's going to turn the tide here. They're going to try their hardest to win this game, and they're going to put it on the back of Saquon Barkley. 
And Barkley, he comes to this game averaging 77.4 rushing yards per game. Compares that with 18.7 receiving yards. So comes out to an average of 96.1 rush plus receiving yards per game, which is already over this number. But I think that he's getting a really good matchup here versus the Packers, and that makes me have a lot more confident in this pick as well. That's because Green Bay, they give up the third most rushing yards per game with an average of 136 rushing yards per game. And with Saquon, we all know it. He's going to get the lion's share of the carries for the Giants, so we have to expect him to have a good night. And with Tommy DeVito at quarterback as well, and Saquon Barkley is going to get a ton of checkdowns throughout this game too. So this is a great combo bet. Give me Saquon Barkley to go over 93 and a half rush plus receiving yards versus the Packers. Yeah, I think Saquon's Tommy's favorite target. So I do like that play for you, Trey. For my player prop today, I'm going to take Jordan Love to go over 228.5 passing yards against the Giants. It seems that the worst fear has come true for NFC North teams that hate the Packers. I was one of the people early in the season that had written Jordan Love off. And over the last four games, really five games now, he's been nothing but spectacular. He's thrown over this number in five consecutive games. And against the Lions on Thanksgiving Day, he looked like one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. He then doubled up on prime time and threw for 267 yards against one of the best defenses in the NFL against the Chiefs. The Giants are in the middle of the pack this season at giving up passing yards while the Kansas City Chiefs are top three. So if Jordan Love can pick apart that Kansas City Chiefs defense, he can definitely pick apart this Giants defense. I'd like him to go over this number. Even though he's not going to have a couple of his good targets like Christian Watson playing, I still like him to go over this number against the Giants. Give me Jordan Love over 228 and a half passing yards as the play. Trey, let's go over to the graphic. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, I gave out the Dolphins minus seven and a half versus the Titans on the first half spread. I have a lot of confidence in them to jump out early in this game and kind of control it from the beginning like they've tried to do to teams all season long. I'm also going with Saquon Barkley over 93 and a half rush plus receiving yards versus the Packers. Packers defense, especially their rush defense, is very leaky. So I think Saquon's going to get the ball time and time again. And he's going to break one eventually. So I love this play for Saquon too. Yep, I've got the Packers my six and a half against the Giants. Kind of two teams I don't like, but the Packers are way better than the Giants right now. Uh, they're playing great football. And then I got Jordan Love, over 228 passing yards, two, over 228 and a half passing yards against the Giants. He's done nothing but impress me over the last five games. So I'm going to jump on the bandwagon of Jordan Love. Hopefully he doesn't screw me on this one. But guys, that's going to do it for NFL Plays and Props for Monday, December 11th slate of games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please sure drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video, and thanks for watching. We had multiple questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're going to go to YouTube.com. You're going to go to Bears Profit Plays. You're going to search it in. You're going to hit our thing. There's a join button right just to the right of the subscribe. You're going to click that. There's two options. You have the Bear Pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. And then you have the Bear Pack Gold for $7.99 a month. That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube. And it gives you a one-month membership to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. So if you get the Bear Pack Gold, you save yourself 2 bucks a month. A little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it, and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there. Trey, 